I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto with actor Pedro Miguel Arce. What initially inspired you to get into the business? Uh, I was actually playing football at U of T and they needed football players for a movie. I uh, didn't get the part but a friend of mine did oh. and he kind of kept rubbing it in rubbing it in that he's having so much fun on it and um, I decided that I was going to get into it to make sure he didn't get any more parts mm -hmm. so he wouldn't make fun of me anymore. Yeah, is he, does he still make fun of you? No. No, he does not. No. You make fun of him. Uh, a little bit, yeah. It wouldn't be right to. It's enough that, you know, he's not in the industry anymore. So, yes. And recently you shot Please Kill Mr. Know-It-All. Tell me a little bit about your character in that. Um, I play a very, um, I like to think it's funny. But uh, he, he's a hitman type thing. He, well, he's inspiring to be a hitman. It's not quite a hitman. He's a henchman. And um, but he really wants him and his partner want to make the, a name for themselves as hitmen, mm -hmm. so they take it upon themselves to um, to to kill somebody, to, to try to kill Mr. Know It All, and uh, it's actually a great comedy and uh, romantic story. You know, there's a love line in there and a lot of laughs. It's a great movie. How did you get into character? They gave me a gun. <laughs> Did you feel powerful when you're holding the gun? Uh, yes, yes, but you know I am powerful, so you know the gun just helped a little bit. And what was it like working with the director? Uh, we actually had two directors. We had Colin and Sander, and they were both great. Uh, one of them took more of the technical side of stuff, and the other one kind of dealt more with us. And um, it was good. It was it was really great. It was um, both of theirs first time directing, so. Um, they, they were both great to work with, and they were both very, very generous because, you know, it's their first time, so they're kind of like, well, let's see what we, what you've got, and then you kind of tweak from there. So it was, a, it was really great working with them. And you are also in Think Like a Man too. What is at the heart of your character in that film? Well, I in that film, I play a doorman, a bouncer, and it's been my day job for a while, so like uh, I've done that throughout the, my career. I actually started doing that so I can get into acting, have my days free, and um, so it was pretty. Um, it, it was pretty easy to to get into that. Mm -hmm. And the guys in it are a lot of fun. And starts uh, Kevin Hart and a whole bunch of other like zany characters, mm -hmm. and that was also a lot of fun to do. And you also just got back from set. Tell me a little bit about your next film that will be coming out in a little while. Um, actually, I just came back from shooting that movie. That was the one that I just shot. The one that's coming out uh, at the end of the summer is uh, Mortal Instruments City of Bones. Mm -hmm. Once again, I get to visit that part of, um, of a bouncer at a club. And uh, there's hopefully some comedy in there and some action in there as well. So uh, hopefully people think the stuff that we brought out was a little funny. Do you find that you get a lot of calls for bouncers and mobsters? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, my acting coach, whom I, I owe so much to, um, his name is Earl Nanu, he's, uh, he's always told me, it's like, you've been acting like a tough guy your whole life. These things should come easy. I want you to train for other things. I want you to be the, the teacher type, the parent type. Mm -hmm. And, well, I'm ready. And if you're casting, I'm ready for it. I've trained for it. It's just so much easier for people to just put you into whatever it is that they see you as being comfortable in. Mm -hmm. And I've done this bouncer role, you know, a hundred times, and I'll do it a hundred more times if I get that one chance to, you know, do like a lawyer type guy. And, you know, and funny enough, I did book a part as a lawyer, but they changed the script around and ended up being a tow truck driver. Oh. So <laughs> it was just totally, I'm like, yes, I got this is shady, shady lawyer type guy. Who's sitting there is like eating a donut when you see him, which is great. I think it's funny. And then they change it around and they're like, no, no, we're going to change this around. But, you know, we'll make him the tow truck driver. <laughs> and so it's kind of like it's so close and it just kind of like you just see it just kind of fade away. What advice would you give to an aspiring actor? Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't get it. No, just kidding. It's, um, it's, it's a lot of hard work and you got to get used to the disappointment. You got to know that it's a game of numbers for every you know, a hundred no's, you're going to get that one yes that's just going to blow your mind and you're going to be like, you know, walking around loving life for weeks after you do that. And it's, it's, 
It's hard work, but it's also so much fun. I think that the work is in the audition, right? That's, that's where the work is. We're preparing for the audition, training for it, and the reward is basically going into set and you're working with, you know, sometimes I've got a handful of people, sometimes there's hundreds of people on set, and um, that's the reward, you get to play. Yeah. And where is the best place to find out more information on you and to follow you online? Uh, there's um, funwithpedro.com, and there's a whole bunch of different things that I've worked on throughout the, other than the acting side that you can get uh, through to there. And uh, pedromiguelarce.com is just more of the acting stuff where it's just like, you know, my reel, my resume, it's like for you casting people that are watching this. Uh, for everything else, it's fun with Pedro.com. Thank you so much, Pedro. Congratulations on all of your projects and best of luck with the ones in the future. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto. Mm -hmm.